Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 4. We're starting day 33 here. And there are some things I want to do before we head on into the actual stuff, the actual missions and whatnot. Let's see, I don't remember if there's... Ah, okay, Schnoz. We can go talk to him. Oh, wow, look at this. One away from Dalmos. Get gold in three challenges. Hmm. Okay, I can talk to Dash. So Dalmo and Dash. And that looks like it. Okay. Got to cure this guy. I'm going to do a nighttime expedition for that. Let's see. So Schnaz, Dalmo, and Dash. Where's Dash? He's way down at the bottom, okay. So these two, and then Domo down there. Ah, you've collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. 50 material. That's one of the better rewards we've gotten so far. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. I tell you, I'm always excited to lay eyes upon a new treasure. Okay, 200. Wow. To the bell. You give me so much info about the creatures here, you know. Tell me, did any particular one touch your heart? Imagination gives you the power to travel to unknown worlds. If you're really good at imagining things, like me, then you can do pretty much anything in that world. For example, when I let my imagination go with the little darlings, I can happily frolic about with them. I can keep talking about creatures for days on end. Okay, but what about this quest? Now then, if you want to have a really fun time, why don't we imagine the ecology of various wild creatures together? Um... Wasn't there a quest with this guy, though? Oh, no. It was almost done, but not quite. I just need one more. Jumbo Ball Borb. Notes. Jumbo. That word sets an image in your mind. Being larger than others of its species means its heart is proportionally bigger, too. So its devotion to its family also grows. When it savagely bites, it's only doing so to protect those it cares about. The most loving critters can sometimes also be the fiercest. Interesting perspective. I got the impression he was just trying to eat things. Such as, for example, me. Fiery Ball Blacks. Scientific name, Oculus Volcanus. <laughs> when I see this blazing beastie, I get a rush of excitement. It's easy to lose track of time while staring fixated at the flame-enshrouded form of the fiery ball blacks. Its appearance brings to mind ancient molten landscapes from an era before our earliest ancestors. 
Yeah, its face looks like it's melting too. Frosty bulb orb. A creature that thrives in the coldest climates, its ice-coated haunches shimmer like a living jewel in the frigid air. You can admire the way it sparkles to your heart's content, but don't get too close. You'll get frosty frozen on the spot if you touch it. Unless you have the uh, anti-cold armor, which I do. Dwarf frosty ball orb. The ice crystals on its back are finely detailed and delightfully iridescent. As a juvenile of the species, it sometimes overproduces that sparkling layer of crystals. One of its parents will then snappity crack away at the ice so it doesn't weigh the little one down. My heart melts when I see such loving family dynamics out in the wild. Spaldy Ball Bear. One glance and you'll never forget them as long as you live. Those unmistakable bold lips, a most distinctive feature the likes of which I've seen nowhere else in the universe. When I gaze upon them, I wonder if the lips serve double duty as a way to feel the world around it, since this cute little cuddler has no fingers. Cute. Little. Uh, neither. But whatever. This little darling is always with its beloved mother, but when it grows up, she'll drive it away. Though it may seem cruel, she helps it develop the confidence to survive on its own by forcing it to fend for itself. Such practical creatures could teach us a lot about learning to get by in the world. Eh. Maybe. Emperor Ballblax. It has broad moss-covered flanks and a head like a, des uh, like a dessert, complete with big drooping jowls and small googly eyes. This creature appears to be quite moody, but it does have a cooperative streak. The way this temperamental, bulbous giant cohabitates with others of its kind is quite surprising. Arctic Cannon Beetle. Scientific name, Granitus Frostidum. A beautiful armored bug that sparkles like a diamond. The sight of it busily tromping along, the way it sucks in air and spews out snowballs, everything about it is remarkable. While standing transfixed by stunning appearance, you'll end up covered in snow for sure. Arctic cannon larva. Whether or not there's snow on the ground, when this surprising sweetie comes around, you can have a snowball fight anytime. But don't expect it to go easy on you. You're in for a one-sided defensive battle, and you might end up looking like a snowman by the end. You know, unless you kill it. Which I did once or twice. Flighty Joust Mite. Okay. With a countenance like a little helmet-wearing soldier, it zips up to set its sights from the sky, then strikes its target. This captivating critter is truly a pro. It's unfortunate that when it flies up in the air, you can't see the clever false eyes on its shell or its charming face anymore. Desiccated Skitterleaf. This one is a master of disguise, provided the season is right. As a fun little game, try collecting a bunch of dried leaves and shuffle Mr. Desiccated Skitterleaf in with them. If you pick out a normal leaf, you lose, but if you pick this clever critter, you win big. Feeling lucky? Win big? You know, what's the prize? Getting eaten by one of them, apparently. Boy, look at all those arachnorbs I found. Well, enough of this. How could you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready to take another look. Wasn't there another... Oh. Wasn't there another mission I completed? Let's see... Okay, so there's Dash. Okay, I guess it was only two. Alright. Well, let's check the rescue journal really quick. Shepherd family history number six. The Shepherd family has lived with dogs from the very beginning. 
We understand that if we love and respect these creatures as we do our own, if we pay attention and observe their behavior closely, then we can break down the walls between our species and truly understand one another. How inspiring. Okay, Voyage Log, Olimar. There was definitely one for that cave. Ah, okay. I've often heard the saying, don't push it, pull it. But I might like, don't hit it, tug it even better. I have a theory that I could use the suction mechanism used for collecting ship parts to knock a bread bug's head into the ship's hull. That'd do some damage. Hmm. Plunder Palace. Yeah, this was the one that we saw. Everywhere I look in this cave reminds me of home, blah blah blah. We already saw this one. And there's yet another one. She's growing up. Though I find myself stranded here, I know my daughter must be getting lovelier by the day. It's a terrible shame that I can't be there to see her grow up. Of course, if I was there now, I'm sure she'd just brush me off and yell, Go away, Dad. <laughs> yep, that's kids for you. Okay. So anyway, now we need to find this guy. You seem to be traveling through those caves at a good clip. Drop your latest report on me. Okay. I want to help you discover the spirit of caves. You should continue your endeavor to explore even more of them. Explore all caves. Okay. Alright. We have a lot of stuff we can spend. Pup points and materials. Improve your abilities just a little each day. In time it'll add up and you'll be stunned by what the two of you are capable of. Okay, so I wanted healing. Level 2. Okay. And I could get level 3. Sure. Let's get level 3. Okay, at least there's no mega heal that I need to learn now. Okay, so it looks like it just speeds up his healing. But still, that's good. That will be helpful. Okay. Spermy bone times two. Keep up the good work, and remember, no slacking. Okay, and now, Russ. <laughs> I just love how science and technology make the impossible possible. Well, then it wasn't really impossible, was it? <laughs> okay, let's see here. So I could get Air Armor Plus. That'd be 180 for all of it. That I have a lot more than that. So sure, sure, let's get both of them. Okay. Huh. That'll do for now, I think. Okay. Alright, that should do it. Now then. The leaflings are just... Wow, the more I examine them, the more fascinating they become. Anyway. Let's do a night expedition. Serene Shores. Ooh. Danger level 3 out of 5. Hmm. There are two luminoles here. Split up the work with Ochi and protect them both. Well... Let's go for it.
hey, we only have one leafling to cure, so if I succeed, then that'll be an extra dose of medicine for the next leafling I find. All right. Even if you're not hit directly by a glow mob, nearby creatures can still be affected by it. And there's no need to move your base during night expeditions. All right. Let's do this. Okay, where's the other luminol? There's, oh, wow, that's a long way away. Kill him, 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 kill him. Okay, that's one less that we need to worry about. Okay, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Where are they coming from? Where, where, where? Where? Oh, blast it. Okay, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh dear, oh dear. Ugh. Come on. Oh man. Oh! There's another one! Oh man, that was bad. It's almost gone. Oh dear. Okay. Here come more. Shoot! directions. Ochi? Oh! Oh no!
anymore? Oh. What are you doing? Okay. That was close. Gee, thanks, Yanni. Well, the even sure you survived the night. You put in the effort out there, new blood. Now we can make the cure. Two doses of it, in fact. And we only need one, since we only have one leafling in custody, as it were. Rescuing castaways increases Ochi's pup drive. So does uh, saving or protecting, rather, the luminols. So I should get two pup drive points for this. Castaways hide away inside caves. Dandori is the art of organizing your task strategically. Okay, here we go. Back to the command post. I don't get pup drive for gathering the medicine. I get pup drive for curing the leaflings. Fair enough. New Welcome back from your night expedition. Hee hee, it's complete at last. Bye. Russ, what exactly have you been doing locked up in the lab all night? Behold, my latest invention. This device can perfectly reproduce anyone's voice. <laughs> and this is useful for rescue work. How? Kihi, only a fool incapable of grasping the seismic implications of such great scientific discoveries would ask such a question. Colin. Wow, Colin, really? That's a bit much, don't you think? What? But I didn't. I wouldn't. I'd never say something like that. That was Ross. What? Okay, okay, let me tell you what I can grasp. It's that this thing is going to be a problem, so I'm banning it. Key, he, and D. Okay. Let's see. Nothing new that I've completed, I'm pretty sure. Find 100 creature species. I just need one more. Anyway, let's move on. Time for day 34. And now let's cure that uh, blue leafling over there. Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Santi, Uncharted Planet Tour Pilot, from Nijo. Currently a temp at Satella Travel. He's had many jobs over the years and seems fated to always cross paths with his rival. His rival? No. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Your nine leaflings complete. Okay. Dude. Bernard, you're making some really good progress curing folks. You know what that means. Reward time. Okay. I like your pace. Keep it up. Cure 12 leaflings. Oh, 
That's a lot of leaflings. Okay. Is this the new guy? Huh? Yep, this is the new guy. You've got to be kidding. Him again? I can't believe he's here. Will he ever stop getting in my way? Him who? Him! Your pilot, Bernard. No. I'm Santi. Right now I'm a freelance pilot, but he and I have a long history, you see. Really? I see. You know, the day I was born, he was there in the same hospital in the bed right next to mine, sound asleep. I haven't been able to get away from him since then. No matter where I go, he somehow always shows up there. I see. Well, guess you'll just have to deal with it a bit longer. Where's the tour guide? Yep, not on this person. I did it. I saw it. On the Rescue Corps relay, there was a recording of the ineffable glow pigment. They were like tiny jewels of light pouring down. Basking in their ephemeral glow, I felt within me the twinkle of life. It's curious how they fell right to where you were. Glow pigment are such mysterious entities. Ha! Huh. Where's the tour guide? It was this one. I think. The future of our company rests in your hands now. Please bring all of our guests back safely. And you're the, uh, reporter? My director is always, always making the most unreasonable and totally ridiculous requests. Okay, well, we haven't found the director yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I want to get. Actually, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and buy the gunk busters. I don't know if I'll need them, but, uh, you know, they're there, so I might as well. 66 material, that ought to be enough for, that ought to be enough to be getting on with. All right, time to explore. Well, hey. Do you know where you're going next? Okay, time to rescue Captain Olimar. Hey. What area would you like to explore? The Hero's Hideaway, of course. Okay. Wonderful find anyone here. Yeah, if we find another leafling, we already have the cure. The tablet. Open the tablet with plus, then press B to access the other apps in the tablet menu. Transporting tips. If something is left abandoned in transport for three days, it will return to its original position. Huh, okay. That's new. Purple Pikmin. If you throw Purple Pikmin directly at a creature, you can do considerable damage. Okay, so there's some materials behind that pillow there. That's what we get first. Alright, so it suggests yellows, ice, and rock. Let's go ahead with that. Okay. Huh, what did Olimar think of this place? Um. Dog's down here somewhere, is it? Oh, there he is. 
Alright, let's just... Let's just finish him off. rock right in the middle. Um, what happens if I... Stop focusing on the corpse, you stupid... yellows and those are electric enemies. Okay, let's see if I can just use the rush. Yes, I can. Gem. Ah, that is so irritating. Missing a yellow somewhere. And they just 
started digging, okay. to lower the rope? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. How do I get higher up? Okay, there's a playing card up there, but... Yeah, that's not working. Okay, also, where's the missing yellow? There is a missing yellow somewhere. Oh, you jerk. Hmm, that might be the way up. Huh? Is this bunker from the voyage log? It seems to be locked. So the club is two. How did I figure that out? And how do I get up to the top of that? Oh, that's how I get up to the top of that. Can't ride that, huh? Get 
down here, guys. What's... Oh. Oh! Cards! Playing cards! That's how you figure it out. Um... Okay, where, where are the stray Pikmin? There's two somewhere. the stray Pikmin. Now there's three straight Pikmin. Ugh, where are they? What the... Oh, the, all of a sudden there was some really loud noise. Okay, there's... Okay, two of them are still on the staircase. I told them to follow me, those blasted little things. Ice, maybe I can freeze it. But then I can't get those tomatoes. Uh oh, the dog is almost back. bothering us. cave in there, but no. Okay, you staircase guys, get down here. Now I just need to get the sponge. There it is. Alright. As quickly as you can, guys. Double time, double time. present and accounted for. Didn't find another cave, unfortunately. But I found a few more treasures. I got some more uh, traversal options opened up. And, um, well, things went decently. need to bring blues to get those two tomatoes. And I'm going to need to move my base back to the kitchen area.
so that I can get them out there as quickly as possible. Okay, no one rescued, unfortunately. But, got a good amount of treasure. A doggy bed, power emblem, some more perforated rafts, unbreakable promise, and peacemaker combo bot. And killed a bunch of enemies to get them out of my way. Took out that dog twice. So, yeah, things are going pretty well. I really do need to find another cave, though. There's got to be another one somewhere. Okay, got a few more yellows. Progress from 19% up to 23. Not as big a jump as yesterday, but uh, still decent progress. All things considered. Pass. Going forward, we need to prioritize Ochi's training even more. Russ, prepare plenty of squirmy bones for us to use as rewards. Mirupe. Understood, Captain. How many do you think you'll need? Hmm, good question. Let's start with a thousand or so for now and see how long that lasts us. <laughs> a thousand? Don't you think that's a bit extreme? A little bit, yes. You've discovered a locked bunker. There must be a clue somewhere telling us where to find the code that opens it. Okay, so... The diamond is one, and the club is two. We still need to find the heart. And... Cure the leaflings. So there's at least three more leaflings hidden around somewhere. Hmm. Explore all caves. Alright. Well, again, not as much accomplished as the uh, previous day, but... Uh, still, I feel this was a good... a good day. We found this bunker here and discovered a bunch more treasures, got most of those treasures back, but we still have a ways to go. Okay then. Well, viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Pikmin 4. In the next episode, we go back to Heroes Hideaway and continue checking the place out. I might do another nighttime expedition. I haven't decided yet. You know, might as well stock up on the medicine that we are going to need. But, um, yeah, I might just come straight back to Heroes Hideaway and keep exploring the place. But, at any rate, uh, we will be coming back to Heroes Hideaway. I just haven't decided whether or not to do a nighttime expedition first, but still, I hope you're looking forward to the next episode. I'll see you then.